I feel really small. And I feel like no matter how incredible my ideas are, it doesn't matter. There's no way to get them out there. Nevertheless, I want to talk about my pyramid idea again today. I want to talk about why I have this idea to build these giant pyramid skyscraper cities in the middle of the desert that generate electricity. The reason I want to do it is because photovoltaic energy is the best. I understand that everyone feels like they're throwing away their vote if they vote for me. So I really want to beat this into everyone's head. If you vote for me, you're voting for saving the future. If you vote for Joe Biden, you're voting for weatherizing a bunch of houses and spending a lot of money to do it. If you vote for me, you're voting for building cities that are sustainable where we think about where our energy comes from. Because think about your home. Where does your energy come from? Well, it probably comes from natural gas if you have a stove, or it comes from electricity, which comes from a localized generation of electricity from a coal power plant probably, but it might come from a nuclear power plant, it might come from wind energy, it might come from more than one place, but no matter what, your fuel supply depends on oil as the cornerstone of it, because oil is the cornerstone of everything. Just like your food supply, the farms depend on oil, um, your Coal depends on oil for mining and stuff like that. So when I think about how I envision a city of the future with no oil, I envision it like the old city of Jerusalem. And the old city of Jerusalem is one mile long by one mile long. So it's, it's, it's pretty decent sized if you're going to walk in a circle around it, right? And it is meant to be walked in there. It's, I, don't, I don't think there are any car sized roads. So when I thought of how I wanted to build these mega cities, I was thinking, wow, I'd really like to put Jerusalem in the middle of a pyramid. I want to build a pyramid that's one and a quarter <laughs> miles long by one and a quarter miles wide, which I don't think that's really possible. It would be the biggest skyscraper in the world, but I, I actually do think it might be possible to tell you the truth, because if we built skyscra skyscrapers inside the pyramid as supports, we, it, we, so we build up that way, I think we can build a pyramid as tall as we want, depending, like the key is just building it wide enough, but I'm not 100% sure, I'm not an engineer. But all I know is, um, I think we should be build the pyramids as tall as we can for maximizing the light reflection into the water tower. Because um, I have this theory that the closer the reflector is to the water tower, the hot, more heat it's gonna generate, and the, and the longer the distance, the, the, the less, light gets there because I used to grow marijuana and um, one of the things I read was that uh, you lose like half your light every inch if you have your height if you so so you don't want to have your lights super tall up super high up so I figure that same idea applies to the concentrated solar energy and everyone's reflecting from the ground and that makes sense from a financial perspective but if and it also makes sense from a maximizing how much time of the day you can reflect the sun perspective. But if you're trying to maximize the amount of heat you generate at a specific time of day, then my belief is that having a pyramid shape with, with these big ass reflectors that go through your house, like they're built into your house. Like you have benches in your house that the, the, the poles can extend in and out underneath. So you don't even see them. You might hear them if, if you live in this apartment because, um, the pyramid, it, 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 this is full of little apartments and we all eat together. And that's one of the ideas of the pyramid is we have photovoltaic energy. We're going to have big ass solar ovens. We're going to have really good meals. You can, you can order in advance and then we're going to all have our food cooked together. And that way we save, um, uh, we save natural gas or, I mean, you can cook with coal also, but you can, but usually you're cooking with electricity. And so the idea is how can we all work together? to organize our society so that we don't use any fossil fuels at all. We just use the sun. So this idea for these pyramid cities that are my, my, my view of them is that they're going to stretch all the way from Las Vegas to, um, almost the central Valley, all the way to, to, to like, um, to where Yosemite is. And, um, I want to stand up on top of Trump tower one day and I want to look out on the city below and it's just going to be pyramids for as far as I can see. 
and the and and I want to change the strip a little bit. I want to go and buy uh, the what is it? Is it the Golden Nugget or what is it? Treasure Island? No, I want to buy Treasure Island Casino and I want to turn it into a real pirate's treasure place, but it's for kids. I don't want to have any gambling there. Uh, I, I think, God, if everyone wants to gamble, they can go gamble at one of the other casinos. There are enough places to gamble right there. But I want to turn it into kids, but then everyone's going, there's no way you could ever do that financially and you'd have to buy it. And I think you're right, but my plan for Las Vegas, the reason that I need um, to create a dictatorship over Nevada, which I know everyone's going, what's a dictatorship? What do you mean? It means that we can take people's property through eminent domain. It means that uh, if you're in that whole part of Las Vegas that's not very pretty, that's like pretty close to Death Valley, like pretty close to Area 51, because I don't know if you guys know this, Area 51 is right next to Las Vegas. Uh, well, supposedly, it's an Air Force base. And so if you're in that area, we can take your land and we will take your land because I'm going to take the entire um, state of Nevada and I'm gonna fill it with pyramids and then I'm gonna relocate massive amounts of people there. 